Hey everyone, I'm going to show you an easy way to get the first and the last points of a spline using PCG in Unreal Engine 5.3. I'm going to start off with a blueprint to hold the spline, and a PCG graph as well. I'll start by opening up the blueprint, and add the spline. And I'm just going to make it a little bigger, so it's a little easier to grab initially. And I will also add the PCG component. And for this, I'm going to set the PCG to this trail tutorial PCG that I created. Compile, save. Now I can drag this thing out into the world, and we've got the spline. Easy to work with. And there we go. Now I'll just update the PCG. I'll start with get spline data, and I will use the actor filter self because the spline lives in the same uh, blueprint as the PCG, self will pull it on in. And I'll do a spline sampler. This I'm just going to sample distance on spline. And I'll just set it to 300 because my meshes are about 300 ish wide. And now, uh, here's where we get to it. I'll do a copy attributes. We can now, in 5.3, access the index attribute. And that is the key to this. So I'm going to copy index to a attribute called index. And now I can attribute select. Attribute select allows you to select minimum, maximum, median. I'm going to just select the minimum on index, and I will duplicate this and select the max on index, and then I'll take this into a difference node. So now I'm going to remove the first and last points from the rest of the points, and that will be my middle points. I'm going to change it to binary, and just drop both of these into the difference, and now I just have to have a static mesh spawner. It automatically creates a two-point node to show you what uh, the data is. That's new in 5.3. And I will add a mesh entry of dragon body. I'll just copy these over here and hook them on up to each point. The max one, that's going to be the point farthest away from the start, so I'm going to make that the tail. And I'll make the head be the first point. You could also select get attribute from point index. Index zero is going to give you the same results because uh, minimum index is zero. And now if we go here, we're just about there. I just have to rotate all of these points by 90 degrees to the left and it'll work. So let me do that. I'll do it right at the start here. And so that's 90 degrees left, which is negative 90 degrees. And there we go. There is the the spline with a front and a back. And just to demonstrate the thing I was saying about the index node, let me just hook this on up here. So I'm getting attribute from index 0 and nothing changed, because it's giving the exact same results as minimum on this uh, custom attribute that we copied from index. So the way you do that is up to you, and I hope this helps.